Hello everyone. I have a video that I'd like to do today to show you some stuff that I found at antique shops and um, consignment shops. Today, me and my daughter love to go thrifting and we went to several places today. Um, one of the places was called Bella's Consignment Shop and at that shop, I found this little Nine West purse, and it is super cute. I love everything about it. It has a little short handle and a shoulder strap that can be removed. This is the back of the bag. It's kind of like a, I don't know if they call this brocade, but it's so pretty. And then the top is a kiss lock, and it says Nine West. Inside, it says that the purse was $9, but it has a slash through it, and I believe I gave $3 for this bag. So, that is really, really cute. The next thing I purchased at the Bella consignment was this little dish. Let me see how that handles. Okay, it goes like this. It looks like a little Loggenberger basket, and it has this super cute little kitty cat on it, and there's little buttons in front of him. He is super duper cute. And then I found this really pretty necklace, and it says, above all else, love. And it's a really pretty key. It has this little crystal heart, and then these are little hearts. So I thought that was really pretty. I've been into long necklaces lately. They seemed like all of mine were silver. So I'm glad that I found these. This next place I went was called Secondhand Rose. And I found this little necklace. This was from apparently American Eagle. And it has all these little charms on it. The little hand, the elephant, the heart, and the love. I thought it was extra pretty, and it's on a really long chain. And then at a place called Reggie's Attic, I got this vintage mirror, $1. Everything I was getting today was pretty cheap. And then I found this little hobo clown that is a bank. I've always liked hobo clowns. There's nothing on the bottom. I'm sure there was supposed to be something there to keep all the change in, but I'm not planning on using him as a bank. I just wanted him because he was cute. Let's see. Now, the next bag I want to talk about, I've never heard of this brand. I do not know how to pronounce it. I found it at a um, TJ Maxx. This is the little dust bag. And it shows the name, but right here is the name on the front of the bag. And the reason I purchased this purse is because it reminds me of 80s. I love the 80s look and the 90s. And this little bag says that it was made in Italy. It has this little stamp right here that has that same name on it. But like I say, there's no way that I could pronounce that. But it has this little tiger. So while I was in the mall, of course I wanted to look up that brand. Because like I say, here's a little card. I have just never heard of this brand. But it was completely produced in Italy. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, here is the name if you couldn't see it on the purse and let me tell you i looked this friend up and these bags like here's the end of it with the buckle these bags this brand of bags they sell on their site and other websites that carry them for over 500 so i'm not sure how much this one was if it was 500 or 400 or I don't, I don't know. I could not find this particular bag, but this is the name right here and the serial number. It's right here, the Vaquetta Bicolor, right down there. And here is their website. I paid $29.99 at TJ Maxx. 
So I was really, really like, I got so excited. I saw this purse. I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? Because I love bags that are different. And this one is different, definitely different. There is no pockets inside. I was looking. There's a little, little tag right there. So this is great. This is just the inside. It's just kind of like suede. Well, not really suede. It's just the back side of leather, like raw leather inside. But I love it. So it is adjustable. This is the strap. And once again, I always like it when they have a little leather loop. This one does not have one, but hopefully it won't be too floppy because it's not very long there. But yeah, it had one little, I don't know if it's a scuff or not. It's light right there. You can probably barely see it. So I looked at my TJ Maxx, because I went to two today, but I looked at mine and they didn't have these, which I didn't figure they would. I've never seen them at mine, but, and this is the only one they had at the other TJ Maxx. So here's this cute little bag. I'll have to show you again, but I love to go thrifting. Here is the Mine West that I got for $3. And my two necklaces, which were so pretty. And of course my little kitty cat, one of my favorite little finds. And I love my little hobo clown. So cute. <laughs> so, and here's the little mirror. I think that's all that. And then we went to a Five Below store and I got my granddaughters some little crafts because they love to paint and things. So I got them some little crafts. And um, what else did I get there? I got my mom a little bracelet. So it's just been a great day of thrifting and we ate lunch and I just, I loved it. It was just a great day. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have a TJ Maxx near you, you need to see if they have these bags. Thanks for watching. Bye.